welcome to the new part of link tutorial in this part we will learn about the skip file operator so let's begin in this part we will be learning about the skip file operator and then we will create some demos with mix syntax and the method syntax first of all let's understand what is skip file method skip file operator is used to skip all records from a data source until a condition is true so basically from a data source if you need to skip some records but you do not know how many records you want to skip but you know the condition that if this condition is true then that element should be skipped in that scenario we can use skip file and one of the most important point is that once the condition get failed then all the remaining elements will be selected as an output so you can see here skip file operator is used to skip all records from a data source until a condition is true and select remaining elements as an output so the point is if condition get failed then this operator will not check any elements after that condition and all the elements which are available after the after that point where condition get failed that all of them will be part of the output skip file method can be used in method syntax and mix syntax so if we talk about the query syntax then we do not have any kind of operator for the query syntax but for the method syntax and the mix syntax we can use skip file skip file method will not make any change in element position this is one of the most important point that it will not change the position of the elements it will just select all the elements once the condition get failed so let's see the practical here i am in my visual studio and i have two data source so first we will work with the first data source which is the array of integers so let's try suppose the requirement is from this list i need to skip all the elements where element is less than 6 and once the element is greater than or equal to 6 then i will select all the elements after that element okay so let's see how to do that so we will declare our variable method syntax how to do it first you have to write your data source then skip while we need to apply this method and this method is available under system.link namespace so you have to include that in your project and before working with the skip file let's understand the definition of skip while operator if i press f12 over here then you will see a new file uh, which has two methods two overloaded version of skip file method and if i go on the top of the page then you can see it is available under system.link namespace so you have to include that so you can see the parameters it needs a parameter predicate so in the predicate you can provide your condition or you can pass two variables in a condition as well so we will see both of them in our example now so first let me use the first one where i will use only one parameter and suppose i'm writing i'm writing a condition using the lambda expression where number is less than six and then at the last to execute this query i'll be using true list method or two array method as per your requirement Okay. if i will use to list method then the return type will be of list if i use two array then the return type will be of array type now let's understand the condition here okay so the skip file method will work on all the elements starting from the first element okay so first element is one then two so let's compare it with the condition here one is less than six so it will get skip two is less than six it will get skip 3 is less than 6, 2, 4 is less than 6, 2, 5 is less than 6, true. So from here all the elements will get skipped. Now if we talk about the 6, 6 less than 6. So basically 6 is not less than 6, so the condition is failed. At this place condition get failed. And as per the definition of the skip while method, once the condition get failed, it will not check rest of the elements it will select all the elements once the condition get failed so 6 7 8 9 and 10 will be part of the output so let me press f5 and let's see what is the output so in the ms we have five records what records 6 
7 8 9 and 10 why 6 because 6 is not less than 6 the condition is failed and including that element where condition get failed rest of the element will be part of the output okay so that's how it works suppose to make it more interesting let me remove 2 from here and let me write it at the last so now we will see whether 2 will be part of output or not as per the definition it will be part of the output because the condition will get filled here at the 6 and 2 is available after the 6 that's why 2 will be part of output let me press f5 now and let's see how many records do we have in the output we have 6 records 6 7 8 9 10 and 2 which is true so that's how it works if you need to write your query in the mix syntax so suppose you are writing it like mix syntax uh, you write mix syntax inside a bracket from num in numbers and you have to select the numbers okay num and if you have written your query then at the last you can use this method as a as a mix syntax so skip while and here you can write your condition suppose x is less than 5 okay and then at the last to array or to list which whichever you want to use as per your requirement now we will get all the records including 5 why because 5 will be the part of the output why because the condition gets failed at 5 so including that element where condition is failed all the elements after that will be part of output now let me press f5 in the mix we have 7 records where the first element is 5 and the last element is 2 so 1 3 and 4 are escaped to make it more simple let's understand it from the name so the name is the combination of two word first word is skip and second one is while so as per the name convention skip all the records while this condition okay so while this condition is true the element will get skipped once the condition is failed the element will not get skipped and rest of the elements will be part of the output so this is the first way this is how you can pass one parameter as a predicate now if we need to pass two parameters then let's see how it works where minus one now i'll be working with the names okay so suppose names dot skip file first let me create a very basic example from this list as well so suppose x dot length is less than one four okay if x dot length is less than four then we will skip all the elements okay so the length of the first name is three which is less than four this is true so this will get skipped next the length of the zone is four which is not less than four the condition will get failed here so only kim will get skipped and including zone rest of the elements which are available after the zone will be part of the output let's see how it works let me press f5 now and in the ms1 you can see that we have four records including john ma adam and nitis so all of the records are here as a output so this was the simple example now if you need to work with some more complex so suppose you need to work with the index and the values okay so you can pass index and value both of them here how so instead of x you can pass two parameters here suppose i'm writing it here value and index okay first one will be considered as the value and the second one will be the index now okay let, let's make it value so suppose value dot less than index okay so first one is this one okay so this is the kim and the length is 3 and the index is 0 so 3 is less than 0 so condition will get fail at the first element so it will not check rest of the elements even you can see that the length of ma is 
2 and the index is also 2 if I make it only 1 suppose I have only m so now, now, now the length is 1 and the index is 2 so the length is less than 2 let me press F5 now so you can see we have all of the names why because because the condition get failed at the very first element of the data source now let's change some condition okay now i'm using value dot length is greater than index so it's what is the length of kim it is 3 3 is greater than 0 condition is true it will get skipped now we have 4 so this uh, the length of the zone is 4 4 is greater than 1 which is true ma the length is 2 and 2 is greater than 2 no the condition will get failed here okay so these two names will get skipped and rest three elements including ma will be the part of the output let me press f5 now and let's see whether it works or not so in the ms1 we have three records ma adam and this this is how it works the point is all the elements will be skipped until the condition is true once the condition get failed then it will not check rest of the elements whether those elements satisfy the condition or not okay once the condition get failed rest of the element including that element where condition was failed will be part of the output that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day